Ladies and gentlemen, I want to show you a few things over here before we finish the video up. Two of the most valuable pieces in, in, in National Biscuit Containers we have are anything, anything political related is extremely valuable because political collectors collect it. This piece here is Statue of Liberty, National Biscuit Company Soda Biscuit. Shows the Statue of Liberty on it, it's got NBC on it. This piece would date to probably 1930s. Got a tin lid, very highly collectible. The second piece, and more valuable than that one, is the George Washington Soda Biscuit. George Washington, anything political, like I say, is valuable. Jerry Glenn told me years ago this is $1,000 piece. Uh, I, think, I think it would bring $600 to $1,000 if you sold it. It's got Nabisco on it, so it's probably late, early, mid-40s sometime, but it's beautiful too. Some of the nicest things they had out were uh, the, the oldest toy that the company had that we know of was a Stereopticon. And this is it right here, American Biscuit Company Stereopticon. Put out by American Biscuit, and they you could you could get this Stereopticon, and they gave you a card that went in it, and for each box bag of cookies you got, you got the card, and this is the piece they put out for it. It's called a Stereopticon. This is a valuable toy. There, it's there's not many of them exist. Uh, it's beautiful. It says American Biscuit Company on it. It's lithographed. Really nice. Silver, silverware. I, didn't, I showed you the, the, the china out of the bakery earlier. Here's a, here's a, a fork for shrimp. It says Nabisco on it. It's got Nabisco up at the top. The colophon. Turn it over this way, you'll see it better. But there's a colophon on it at the bottom. You know, it could probably get it pretty good. All right. Buttons. Some of the most valuable things we have out were buttons. The one I have on NRA was for the National Relief Act that was that was for Roosevelt declared unconstitutional after a while this is a rare button I know of two of them in existence and it's got NRA National Biscuit Company on it you need a baker's I think is that what it says Dale? yes beautiful button another one that's rare also for the war is this one here Buy defense bonds for victory keep them flying Skyflake wafers for quality Skyflake NBC this would be late 30s, early 40s. I've never seen another one. Absolutely beautiful. Put out for the war. And on the back, Bainbridge, Bad Buttons, Syracuse, New York. In the paper. Beautiful, beautiful button. Ritz crackers came out in 1934. Here's an ashtray. Put out the year Ritz came out, 1934. It's got the Ritz box in the center. It's, it's absolutely the only one I've ever seen and this came from Wayne's, Wayne's collection and I've never seen another one put out the year Ritz came out for, for smokers rings some neat rings these were also Wayne's this one here I'll hold it under here maybe they don't get a little picture of it this one was for uh, NBC Cracker King 1933 given to a sales rep for being number King and Cracker sales in 1933 10 years before I was born nice piece this was also given out for sales uh, let me get it up where it goes I gotta look at it a minute this had the salesman's uh, initials in the middle of it it was it was it was put out from Nabisco it was put out in about 45 I think 44 45 and it went for a full year and for each period that you won uh, top dollar or you were tops you got a, a diamond this one has two three four five diamonds in it so the man got five diamonds out of 12. This also was in Wayne's collection. It's absolutely beautiful. You'll see this in the Nabisco magazine if you dig. Now the Cracker Barrel, the most important book that's ever been written about National Biscuit Company. These two pictures are original when they made out of the Cracker Barrel. These came out of New York. These came from Mr. Uh, John McGovern, who was a, a, a counsel for National Biscuit Company. He cleaned out the files before they uh, closed the, the uh, New York down and he saved these two pieces this is Esther Green and her daughters Elizabeth and the other one I don't know what her name was this shows some of the people around the train when the Nazu came into uh, New York these are rare really, really nice pieces actual black and white photos from the making out of Cracker Barrel uh, <clears throat> boxes two of the, one of the most beautiful boxes the rarest we have and it's beautiful it's a World's Fair box you need a Baker's, a Century of Progress assortment celebrating Chicago's World Fair in 1933 by permission of a Century of Progress. 
this was a this was a, a box put out for the World's Fair, and I do not know of another one in existence. It's not only collectible because it's Nabisco; it's highly collectible because it's World's Fair. Uh, it's marked unique on the end, 33, easy to easy to date, pound box. I'd be I wouldn't even want to put a, a figure on that box because I know of no other, and it's World's Fair. It would be a a, a high priced box. Beautiful. I know of no other in existence. Assortment. This is one of the most beautiful assortment boxes we I've ever seen. Put out for Christmas. Nabisco fancy assortment. Some of our boxes for Christmas time were absolutely gorgeous. Had cookies in it. Mark National Biscuit Company, New York. Again, New York. Net weight two and a quarter pounds. These were made in the bakery that's up there now where uh, the Food Network comes from. This was made in that in that bakery there in New York before they on 16th Street. So it's a nice piece. It's Mark Nabisco 40s mid 40s uh, a couple other pieces I want to show you that are beautiful a donut box I, I've never seen another one National Bread Company that was Nabisco National Donuts one dozen I've never seen another one of these boxes for National Bread Company our trucks look the trucks look just like the Nabisco trucks same color and everything but they said National Bread Company on them that was a donut box and I, I've never seen another donut box it's the only one I've seen how that survived, I don't know. I dated 20s. Uh, here's another assortment that's pretty. Anniversary assortment. This is 1948. Put out for the 50th anniversary of Nabisco. 1898-1948. It's, it's a pretty box. Not real. It's cardboard. The it side's got a little damage in it. It had a pound of product in it. Uh, Nabisco assortment. Net weight one pound. English style. New York again. So, And, and you can tell by the seal. The little rounded seal on National Biscuit Company dates at late 40s. That's a nice piece too. One of the most beautiful pieces they ever put out. An assortment. Look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. NBC Fancy Biscuit Assortment. 18 delicious varieties. National Biscuit Company. Made in USA. New York, New York. That is. The, it's smooth. It's slick like a paper, like a photograph. And the colors in it are beautiful. It screams 1940s. And it's absolutely gorgeous. One of the prettiest. I think assortment boxes we ever put out. I've never seen a nicer one. That's nice. And on the end of NBC. So that's it's early 30s, late 30s, early 40s. Isn't that beautiful? Probably early, more late 30s than it is early 40s. Uh, pieces that, that are only one of a kind. There's another one, not another one in existence. A piece I'll show you right here. We know what's the only one. This wallet has Lee S. Bickmore on it. See the name. This wallet was made up for Mr. Bickmore, president of the company, when he retired. But before they could present it to him, he passed away. This was given to me by Wayne way before he passed away. He sent it to me. And he wrote, a real treasure. He passed away before we could get it to him. Dial and Saberly have one. So both of them had one. This was going to be given to Mr. Bickmore. He never got it. That's the only one in existence. It's absolutely beautiful. The pieces that, that we have that... That Nabisco is just a who, who, who's who of, of a country store. There's, they, we had out everything from boxes to, to, to tins to store furniture to containers. I mean, this company is a who's who in, in early Americana in our in country store. Our, our collectibles are second to none. They're absolutely beautiful. Uh, you just can't, you, you can't, this stuff's disappearing. And, and, the reason we have all this is because we've had 40 years plus of, of collecting. We can, every piece on these shelves has a story to it. We can tell you where it came from and who had it and, and, and where it was at. So no matter what piece it is, it's, it's got a story to it. And, uh, you know, you just it, it's disappeared and, and we've saved it. The license plates up at the top, the one on the left belonged to Wes uh, Schreiner. was on his company car. And they, he retired in 84 and that was on his car. One on the right, there's a picture of that in one of the magazines. A salesman in Arkansas had that one on his car. It says Nabisco. Uh, the, the, everything in here is, is you just, it screams country store. You can come in here and spend hours just, just looking at the stuff. I've got things that I haven't shown you. We've got tons of stuff that's put away. I've got books. I walk over here and let Dale show me, show one other thing. Dale, you can kind of look around and go over. I'll show him another thing. Then we'll cut this off. Hopefully I got enough video there to get it all on. Uh, right here on this wall, I told you earlier we had books with the history of the company telling us what, what anything I want to know. This, this 
bookcase or shelving unit is loaded with National Biscuit Company history. Trademark infringement books, uh, Zuzu infringement books, the, all the paperwork on the You Need a Boy, uh, trolley, uh, uh, cards that they put out that went in, uh, uh, you could collect the uh, different cards, all kind of cards. Uh, it's just a, a complete reference to an early National Biscuit Company. They, uh, if I need to know about it, it's up there on the shelf. So I can dig it out and tell you exactly what they had. This is full of trade cards. I'm getting the light. Can you see better? Got trade cards. There's a the Shucker Boy. There's some signage off the ghost signs. They call them the ghost signs. Off the buildings. These were in New Orleans. White Fawn. Drawing book. National Biscuit. Really early. Uh, just, just tons of our stuff. Herds Oyster Crackers. That's, that's a Nabisco company. Went in to form Nabisco. There's one, Gowdy and Kent's, trade card. Clo that's not particularly that. There's bread cards, bread signs. Uh, just, just, just page after page of, of uh, history. Look at those, how pretty. National Pancakes for the Millions. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Look at the writing on it. The bottom one's Ask for Ovens, famous coffee cake. Of course, ovens went into the Bisco. Christmas piece, they left them in the windows on the counters, take home for Merry Christmas. There's another one. Ovens Lily Cream, 